Hi everyone, it's Alicia with The Deck and this is my 5 a.m. morning routine where I prep breakfast, lunch, and dinner for my 12 kids. But first, coffee. All right, I am making um, bagel breakfast sandwiches. Shoot, I gotta go grab the bacon out of the garage once I get the eggs going. I am making bagel breakfast sandwiches for lunch. I'm making their usual, or for breakfast, their usual lunch because my kids are boring and they like the same thing every day. <laughs> I'm making steak fajitas for dinner. Ah, no. That one just cracked way bad. Okay, come on, okay. My kids will probably be having eggs every single day for the rest of the summer. Our chickens are laying eggs like crazy. We have nine Orpington chickens. They're super fun. Okay, did I get out 12 eggs or 10? I might have got out 10. I'm so used to doing 10 of everything. Oh gosh, we just had two more kids move in. And so now I'm having to do 12 of everything. Got it. Got it. We're good. Okay. a mess. I just totally made a mess there. I need more coffee. All right, you should just put your eggs in your muffin tin, add some salt. You can do pepper if you want. Most of my kids don't like pepper. And just put that in the oven. I don't know, 15 minutes maybe. My oven takes longer than other people's ovens though, so yours might cook in like 10 minutes. I'm gonna get the bagels going. To cook up 12 bagels. Grab the bacon from the garage fridge. We have three spare fridges in the garage and a deep freezer. That's gonna be for the bagels. Sorry, I'm normally more prepared than this. I have a meeting on Monday nights. So then I don't have like my nighttime prep, you know? Normally at night I prep as much as I can for the next day. Let's see. One, two, four, six. two packages of this pre-cooked bacon. You just warm it up in the microwave. Easy peasy. So that'll be <clears throat> 24 pieces of bacon, 
for 12 bagel sandwiches. I'll probably do like a minute in the microwave. Be good. My morning routines are going to have to go a little faster than they've been going. So right now our two new kiddos that moved in are still going to a different school district. Um, it's like two school districts over from where we live. So I have to drive them there and back. So uh, I have to leave here at like 6.45 in the morning to get there and get back before my other kids wake up. Thankfully their school ends at 2.15 so I can get there, pick them up and get back before my kids get off the bus. But it's definitely an adjustment. All right, these are their daily meds and vitamins and supplements. Hear the birds outside. Got the door open. Meds done. my life yesterday James's cardiology appointment went amazing he had open heart surgery when he was a toddler and he has to go every three years for a checkup and um yeah he's all cleared his heart appointment went great so that's always like a relief he gets so much anxiety before his appointment every three years like it's just a routine appointment but you know, it still brings up, triggers up all that anxiety. So he's good. And today he has his MRI on his knee to make sure he doesn't have an ACL tear so that he can go back to sports. We think maybe it was just a little fluid and it's gone now, but he has to get the MRI on his knee to get cleared for sports. So I am making 10 sandwiches. Let's save that. I saved the butts for the chickens, the butts of the bread because my two new kiddos school district does free lunch. They do free breakfast too, but they do free lunch, which is what every school district in our country does because of the pandemic. Um, our school district that we live in opted out of that program. So that is why I packed my kiddos lunch. But my two new kids were comfortable. Um, they wanted to still buy lunch, so. That's fine. We like our routine and consistency. Oh, what should I make? Jor Jordan, Jordan. I think I'll do ham for him. Alex, James, Patrick, Bree, Zoe, Dash. Whoops. I guess this is Jordan's now. Since I spilled some mayonnaise on it. Jason Bodie Hartley. My husband made tuna yesterday, so I don't need to make James's tuna. Okay, this is the 
this like healthier tuna is so runny. How do you get it not runny? James likes his tuna sandwich. We're trying to figure out, should we switch these kids to our school district? Is that the easiest thing to do? But it's like so late in the school year, you know, you hate to do, you hate to do that. But I definitely can't keep driving them back and forth. So that's only like a temporary, temporary thing. What am I doing for dash? Oh, I was gonna do bacon. Am I doing this right? Yes, ham. Okay, so we will want ham. Jordan will do ham. Alex and Patrick will do ham and cheese. two pieces of bacon. <laughs> Brie likes just jelly. Jason likes just jelly and Harley likes just jelly. always freaks people out in my fast motion video that I'm putting jelly with ham. <laughs> I'm not. And Bodie likes just ketchup. And Jordan will put ketchup on his too. can see. I didn't even check if you could see what I'm doing. My bad. So I was going age order. People are like, how do you not get them mixed up? Age order. Everything. Age order. And Bree's sandwich is my only diagonal sandwich. Nana and Papa coming over today. Uh, okay, Alex. What are we doing for dinner? Uh, steak tacos, that's right. I gotta use my reusable bags, I might disposable bags because <clears throat> my other ones got dirty. And I gotta get more. Okay, I swear I just, I buy just reusable bags as much as I do disposable bags. I still don't have their bento boxes that I ordered three months ago. I don't know coming from I don't know where. Guess I should uh, buy new ones. They're those ones that everybody on Instagram uses. Like, why is it taking three months to get to me?
the bagels. <clears throat> My grandma was born and raised in Georgia. She always calls them bagels. But here in New York, it's bagels. Sometimes we call them bag owls, just because my grandma. All right, what am I doing? Oh, I gotta cut up Alex's apple. Alex has braces, so he can't bite into an apple. Yes, I own apple cutters. Just like doing it this way. Okay. I'm missing some of their lunch boxes. To get more. So I'm using some of our fit and fresh lunch boxes that were sent to us. Um, which are really cute. But you know me. I like everything matching. <laughs> I gotta get Aunt Kiki to put their names on their new orange lunch boxes. One, two, three. That's why I don't have an extra. Patrick. I have two Patricks. That's why. That is why. All right. Two Patricks. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ten. This will freak everyone out in my fast motion video. Why aren't you making 12 lunches? Don't worry. Nevaeh and Deshaun will eat lunch. They were like, I told them, I'm like, listen, if you guys, you know, need a day to just rest, not go to school, that's okay. They're like, no, we want to go. Okay. My other kids would have been like, I'll stay home. I'll sleep all day. No. They like school. Yogurt. Alex likes peach. James likes blueberry. Patrick likes his blue SpongeBob. I, okay. Dash likes Oreo yogurt. The twins will do vanilla yogurt. And the babies do Eminem yogurt. the school charges them five cents to get a spoon from the cafeteria. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Oh gosh. Okay. Apples. Alex's apple is cut up. James will do a green one. The twins will do green. The rest will do red. Yes, my kids will eat them just like this, not cut up. They like them cut up too, but they're fine if they're not cut up. Alex is spicy chips. I am like low on chip selection. Breeze goldfish. I gotta get barbecue chips and I've gotta get um, James's Pringles. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting his Pringles. I have no ice packs that are frozen because my kids didn't put their lunches away. Okay. So they're just gonna not have an ice pack today. I should, you know what I should do? Is I should just keep a pack of Capri Suns in the freezer and then that's their ice pack.
do my dinner. There is my extra bowl. So I'm going to make steak fajitas for dinner. So easy. Accidentally grabbed a package of bacon. Did not mean to do that. So I've got three flank steaks that will slice up. I'm going to need a sharper knife than that. Uh, bell peppers and onions. And it's so easy. Anyone else have a cabinet where if you grab something out of it, everything falls out? That's my spice cabinet. Food safe foil liner. It's like you try and get a spice. Enter at your own risk. when you have 14 people living in one house. Everyone's like, are you going to get a bigger house? Are you going to get a bigger house? And we were thinking about it, but um, James's biological sister, who's kind of like our daughter, she's an adult now, and asked if we could help them buy a house, their first house, with four kids. So I think we're gonna do that instead. We have a beautiful house. We are just fine. If we can help them get a house for their kids and get out of the city, then we'll do that. These onions are huge. I think I got them at Costco. I can't remember. So you just slice up onions, put them at the bottom. Uh, these onions are so big, I think I'm only going to need two of them. That fills the bottom of that. Some bell peppers. You can do any color. They'll cook right down with the steak. I have to get my other thing of bell peppers, I think. Why these ones are bad. Right, hold on. Oh, oh, here's another one. This is fine. The yellow ones are bad. Yellow ones are fine. I always just get the multi pack. Let's see. Nope, I want more. I gotta get another pepper. Go. 
So on Tuesdays, we usually feed a crowd. So on top of our 14 people living in this house, we usually also feed Nana and Papa and sometimes Aunt Kiki and Uncle Eric and Amelia. So I always just make a huge dinner. If we have leftovers, we'll eat them for lunch. Link steaks. don't like tough meat. These are good ones. Well, some of my kids have like texture issues with the chewier beef steak. All right, slice that up, put it on top. paper on there, but there's not. It's like a workout. I'm sweating here. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Weather in New York does not know what it wants to do. It was 80 degrees on Sunday. And, and now I think it's gonna be like 50 or 40 degrees today. start crack potting more while, it, while I'm transporting the kiddos because I'm losing like two hours a day driving now. Crack pot is the answer. Okay, you just take your taco seasoning and load it on top. I think I'm gonna put just a little bit of water in with this, but you don't have to. But this crock pot, it's technically not a crock pot, it's a slow cooker. Cooks fast. Okay. That'd be good. Sandwiches. <laughs> I thought that was one of my kids crying. It's just the chickens. Just the chickens. 
napkins. We're fine. No kids are crying. All right, so I also do their plates in age order. So now I added Nevea and Deshaun. Nevea's favorite color is yellow and Deshaun's favorite color is blue. Found another one of Zoe's plates. I forgot to warm up the butter. Coffee break. Hi, Harley. How are you? Is Daddy awake? No. Harley, let's tie the rain. What do you want, honey? The rainstorm is gone. The rainstorm is gone. Yeah. Bad, bad storm last night. Blew through here, tore up our pool tent, demolished. All right, I'm just putting melted butter on these bagels. Yep, the storm is all done. It's a beautiful day. It was bad. We thought we were going to lose power, but we didn't. We did lose a tent. Is it? Where is the storm? It's gone. Yeah. It's all done. Harley, did you sleep all night? So cool. Nice. Good girl. Harley went to the zoo yesterday with Oma and had horseback riding lessons. I go fast. You did go fast. You did trotting. Didn't and now you? I work out. Go over there, okay? I'll be right there. I'm almost done. Thank you, honey. Um, yes, honey. Sure, go ahead in the family room. I'll be right there. I'm almost done. I think that's the first time she slept through the night in like a month. Guess she just has to go to the zoo every day to sleep through the night. All right. Slice of cheese. The egg. Hot. So yeah, it just cooks up like this perfect little egg. The teens requested this for breakfast. I think tomorrow I'll make pumpkin chocolate chip bread. and bacon. So then when the kids come to eat, they like know which plate is theirs because it's always in age order. And plus they picked their own color plate. 
Well, most of them did. Some of their plates got lost, so now they have a default plate. bacon left too. So that's good. I'm going to put some raspberries with this. Damn it. There you go. Jordan will want ketchup with his. I love raspberries. I could eat this entire container myself and half. I'm coming, honey. I'm almost done. I know you're being very patient. Okay, that is it. The breakfast, lunch, dinner for 12 kids is done. Thank you for joining me for my morning routine. You are strong. You are beautiful. You are loved. You belong. And I'm so proud of you. I'll see you